I have a dream today that one day little black boys and black girls. This is Sean King, a second grader at Meridian Ranch Elementary. I liked it. I, I, I was sorting for it. He's all dressed up for a class presentation. I worked very hard. I, I, I did try my best. I have a dream today. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation. Sean is portraying a historical figure assigned by his teacher. Well, Martin Luther King Jr. He said, Mom, I want to wear a suit because that's what he wore and a black tie and I have to wear a white shirt. And he said, um, also, I want to play, you know, do my face in black. I just I want to be, be like it because I thought it was a fun project to do. His black face paint landed him and his parents in the principal's office. They thought it was inappropriate and it, and it would be disrespectful to black people. But I say that it's not. I like black people. I don't want to be mean to them. It's just a costume. I don't want to insult anybody. The school district says a staff member and some students were offended by the face paint. When other students are offended by something, it's really the principal's role to make sure that the educational environment is safe for all the students. But students were never mentioned in the complaint, according to Sean's parents. They were told it was a female staff member who was offended. Other parents, including a PTA member, said there was no problem with Sean's face paint. It's not about them. This was about a second grade class uh, and their project. It had nothing to do with the woman that was uh, taking it the wrong way. And I, I think she needs to realize the bigger picture. If my own son had been chosen to be Martin Luther King, I would have, he's a blonde, I would have gotten him a black wig and I probably would have painted his face too. I don't think there's another way. Despite an outcry of support, Sean was still asked to wash his face, but his parents refused and pulled him out of school. I think it's pretty sad that you've got a principal, you've got faculty members that are acting the way they are when they should be the ones setting the example for the children. I learned something when, when I went, went into that office. Don't be afraid. Have a strong voice. He's proud. He's proud of what he did. I'm proud of what he did, too. In Colorado Springs, Samantha Anderson, ABC News.